Last year, we built a rover. It was far from perfect, but it got us to Utah, and we named it Courage. This year, things are a little bit different. We've redesigned everything from the ground up with the challenges of the URC and the rugged terrain of the MDRS in mind. Our drive system is a modified rocker bogey with adjustable front wheel geometry and a spring and damper shock absorption system to adapt to varied terrains. Six brushless DC motors at a 71 to 1 gear ratio will provide ample torque to scale steep inclines. The rover is currently equipped with wheelies tires, but we are also working on three custom tire designs incorporating carbon fiber, molded polycarbonate, and resin cast polyurethane rubber. Our chassis incorporates a network of beams inspired by mammals' vertebrae. The long central columns and branches distribute loads throughout the system so that the rover can undergo torsion and resist bending. We are using a planar design to be both space efficient and lightweight which will facilitate maneuverability for the competition tasks. We selected structural fiberglass, engineering plastics, 3D printed parts, and T6 6061 series aluminum as our materials. Our rover's arm has five degrees of freedom with two linear actuators for strength and custom Delrin and steel gears for rotational motion. We've used simulation analysis to ensure the strength and structure isn't compromised. The arm motors can lift 5 kilograms even at the weakest angles, and the arm is removable so it can be exchanged for science payload. The hand uses flexible 3D printed material so it can shape around most objects. Our rover is powered by a 22 amp IR lithium ion polymer battery. We have calculated a runtime of 2 hours over 3 kilometers in a worst case scenario. Our wheels and manipulator are controlled with an Arduino Mega and Nano respectively, and we are designing PCBs for those microcontrollers and all our motor drivers. The microcontroller board allows a Nano to be swapped out for another to match the manipulator attached to the rover, while the motor driver boards will provide clean wire management, simplify debugging, and reduce electromagnetic interference. Our brushless DC wheel motors were chosen for their low weight, low power consumption, and high stall torque in consideration of the extreme retrieval and delivery tasks. We plan on using two Ubiquiti rocket radios at 5 GHz to communicate with the rover. A MIMO Omni antenna on the rover and a sector antenna at the base station gives ranges exceeding 1 km in high data transfer rates. The brains of our rover are an NVIDIA Jetson TX2 and a Raspberry Pi 3, which are networked to act as a single system using ROS. The NVIDIA Jetson has a powerful GPU that gives us the ability to drive autonomously using cutting-edge environment mapping and navigation techniques to actively plan routes that avoid obstacles. The Raspberry Pi then interprets these paths using its estimate of the rover's position and directs our suite of Arduinos to follow its commands. Our distributed computing system allows for mission-critical data and direct control to remain available, even when components become damaged, disconnected, or occupied with expensive calculations. Since its inception, Yonder Dynamics has sought to bring the power of modern computing to space exploration. With our over-the-top software stack and distributed computing, we are finally bringing it to URC. To tackle the science task, our team is employing an auger attached by a 4-bar linkage to collect the soil. The mechanism will deposit the soil into our one-of-a-kind sample carousel. This carousel will contain Arduino-controlled sensors, which will measure the pH, humidity, and temperature of the soil. In lab, we will continue our LB experiment by measuring the turbidity of our sample under several conditions using a spectrophotometer. In addition, our lab will conduct a Raman spectroscopy experiment in which we will look for various biosignatures. As our rover drives off into the great blue yonder, we've got two things to say. Thanks for watching, and see you in Hanksville.